Because a third-party litigation funder gains an economic interest in the legal claim of another, the financing transaction can resemble the assignment of a claim. Generally, American jurisdictions impose strict rules that limit the ability of a party to assign its legal claim to another who would litigate it. To a certain extent, discomfort with litigation financing may be because it seems like something that contradicts an established principle. But is claim transfer really against the grain of the American legal tradition? There are good reasons to think that it is not. In fact, claim transfer is more common than one might think. Under federal law, patent claims are transferable. As a result, patent claim transfer and acquisition is a multi-billion dollar industry. In addition, there is an accepted U.S. market for bankruptcy claim transfers. Creditors with pre-existing rights have purchased claims out of bankruptcy and litigated them as their own. Other transactions give one party an economic interest in the legal claim of another. Insurers can acquire the claims of their insureds through subrogation. Attorneys acquire an economic interest in their clients' claims when they agree to be paid through a contingency fee. Given these accepted practices through which one party obtains an interest in another's claim, it is harder to understand how litigation financing is contrary to established norms. Granted, there is no claim transfer in litigation funding as there is in bankruptcy or patent cases. So litigation funding is a less radical departure from the general rules prohibiting claim transfer. The party providing financing is, in a way, like the insurance company who funds litigation for its policyholders, or the attorney with a contingent fee agreement. Instead of viewing litigation financing as a doubtful novelty, maybe it is time to see it as a practice analogous to ones that are already taken for granted. If you need help with litigation funding, call or email me today.